Okay, this computer has four four gigabytes of memory, and the memory is limited to this one. The last Windows is memory. The last Windows is memory is limited to 128 megabytes of RAM. And with this little amount of memory, the computer won't start at all and it will display an error message in a few moments. Your PC ran into a problem or something like that. Okay, and to solve this problem, and then press F8 on the keyboard. Now, okay, I pressed F8, this one. And let's enter the first one, safe mode. Come on. This is safe mode, Windows 8.1. Come on, close it. So we have the safe mode text in all four corners. Down here. Okay, and let's go to the start menu. Right click on it and run. Type msconfig. Let's go here to boot, select the windows that is started, this one is running, not the rest of them, and then go to advanced option, and number of processors is also checked, it's limited to one processor, and the memory, I, either you can delete this value, I entered 128, but I see the number is larger, it got modified somehow. Let's eliminate that one. Maximum memory is unchecked. Click OK. OK again. And let's restart the computer. OK, now Windows loaded. And let's go to the task manager. Performance. And the memory is unlimited, it's at 4 gigabytes and that's the maximum value because 4 gigabytes is installed into this computer right now and at CPU we have one single core because I left that on purpose like that it's limited from msconfig right click on the start menu, run msconfig, type it there and here at boot select the windows that is currently running advanced and the number of processors is limited to one and it's limited from software not from the BIOS and here you can see it's also one okay and the error was eliminated because we have four gigabytes of memory instead of 128 which was limited from here maximum amount and was written 128 and pressed ok but I'm checking that one will eliminate the memory limit and if I uncheck this one and restart the computer then I will have six cores here at the processor also so let's restart the computer restarting and we have six here those are six cores the BIOS recognizes all cores and let's see in Windows after it starts this one the last one after it starts, it should also recognize all cores, all six of them. Okay, let's check the number of cores. Right click the taskbar, go to task manager, performance, CPU, and we have six cores here. Let's right click the chart and change graph to logical processors. And we have these six cores. Okay, and from msconfig, Type msconfig here from msconfig boot select the windows that is currently used advanced options both of these are unchecked the memory is not limited and the processor cores are not limited either okay that's it bye bye